they came forth in the last days of earth, in the middle of what is called the tribulation period. 1,260 days, the two witnesses, they came. Hear, O heavens and earth, and give ear to what the Lord doth say. He has called heaven and earth before you. Choose this day life or death, and it shall come to pass in the latter days that the Lord will say, Come and let us go, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people. And it shall come to pass, that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. So shall my word be that goeth forth from my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing to which I sent it. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people who are left, left. Those that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit saith. Behold, the Lord rides upon a swift cloud, and he has instructed Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and tell my people of their transgressions. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and tell my people of their transgressions. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The Lord doth speak a warning to you all. These are the ashes of those who have gone before you, of those who have not repented unto the Lord for their sins. Hell on earth is approaching quickly. Satan and his armies are now gathering, and some already have arrived. Those who do not walk in the light of the Lord cannot see them, nor can they hear them, for their minds have been blinded to the truth of God. Please, listen. Listen to the words of my mouth. My heart cries out for you to repent and save your souls. Do you not hear the 
mercy cry of God? Have you not sought for him with all your hearts? Have you not seen? If only you would humble yourselves and pray and seek his face, then he will hear you and forgive your sins. For behold, the hand of the Lord is not so short that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But call upon him and pray, and he will listen to you. For he says, As the heavens are higher than the earth, so too are my ways higher than yours. Be strong and do not fear. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. And then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You will cry and he will say, Here I am. from you, O God, in your iniquities, and by your sins have you turned. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so too have you. Do you not know that he has already provided for you? Then, then why is it that you remain and wallow in your sin? Has he not said that by their fruits you shall know them? Then where is your fruit? You who seek after beauty, but lack purity. You who strive to reach the heights, but whose head bears no value. You do your own works. When will you turn and render unto him that which will please him? Flow constantly up under. What is it that the Almighty God sees? Fear instead of faith? What is it that He sees? Pride instead of humility? Tell me. How can the creation speak to its creator and tell him what is truth? How can the clay speak to its potter and demand its own way? Tell me, and then I will know you are a god. You cannot, for there is only one god, and that is he, the great Elohim.
Well done, my daughter. Now, who has sacrificed for me? Who has laid down their life for me? It is not obedience better than sacrifice. How my eye doth weep for thee. Can you not see how far you have strayed from the Lord? How my eye doth mourn for you. Will you not return unto him? How deeply does he love you. How he longs and waits for you. Must you continue to grieve him by your constant turning aside? Please, I beg of you, seek him while he may still be found. And lo, he hath said, I am the light. But is that light in you? And if the eye is dark, how great is that darkness? And he hath said, I am the life. But how many of you remain dead? Has he not come to show you the way? But do you follow? Repent and return to your first love. Behold, I come quickly, saith the Lord. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. And there shall be weeping, and wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Have you not understood these things? He that hath an ear, let him hear. And I heard a voice on the desolate heights. Weeping and great mourning. <laughs> Rachel weeping and crying for her children. But she would not be comforted. Because they are not. Behold, the day of the Lord is at hand. And judgment starts, my children, in the house of God. Woe unto him who will not hear and heed! Woe unto him who tests the patience of the Almighty God, thinking his love and mercy will abide forever without the holiness of his judgment. Bring on the day that you have announced that they 